Here is the case presentation. Our patient was 25 year old mid patient who presented with right sided scrotal swelling for uh, six weeks. Uh, patient, as he informed, it was the insidious onset with the progressive course. And patient denied any fever, systematic symptoms, nor uh, urinary symptoms. Uh, patient was pretty healthy with no medical diseases. He didn't take any medication on daily basis. So uh, on uh, examination, as you see by inspection, the left scale appeared normal and the right testicle was enlarged. And, uh, and by uh, Bible by patient, the uh, right testicle was nearly replaced with a hard mass. It was hard uh, in consistency, and also it was a hard nodule, as you see on the surface of the scrotal scan. The mass was a purely scrotal, so it was not a, a inguinal scrotal, it was not hernia. Also, the mass didn't uh, uh, show any positive transformation, was not hydrocele, and also the um, neither the history uh, nor the physical examination referred to epididymarchitis. The mass was painless and was no fever, so epididymarchitis was a remote uh, diagnosis. So, uh, what's the next step now? Patient presented with a hard mass uh, or hard painless mass. So, what's the next step? Next step is yes, tumor markers. Yeah. So as you see, and as you notice, all the tumor markers were elevated and also you may suspect non seminomatous because of elevated alpha fetoprotein. You know, the fact is uh, pure seminoma does not produce alpha fetoprotein, so we might suspect here in the uh, mixed germ cell tumor because of elevated alpha fetoprotein. Okay, what is also has to be has to be done uh, as a part of the workup? Exactly, yeah, ultrasound. Ultrasound is enough. Uh, as a part of the workup for a painless hard testicular uh, swelling. As you see now, the, the, uh, there is an enlarged uh, right testicle with a hydroechoic mass, 6 by 4 centimeter, with micro calcification and also with mild hydrocele, highly suspected of germ cell tumor. Okay. So what's now the, uh, the most probable uh, uh, or the preliminary uh, differential diagnosis? Yes. What do you think? Yeah, testicular tumor, yes. Uh, painless, hard, testicular mass, elevated tumor markers, suspected germ cell tumor on ultrasound, yes. It's a typical for testicular tumor. And what is the next step without any delay? Yeah, yes, high inguinal or kectomy. There is no need now to proceed for any metastatic workup. Go directly to high inguinal or kectomy and let's go now for a live demonstration for this surgery. Uh, after sterilization driving, now as you see now, the right testicle is enlarged. Okay. Uh, you can feel the superficial uh, inguinal ring just to determine the incision, but the incision is easy. It is yeah, inguinal incision. We did it little here uh, transverse. It is like any inguinal uh, surgery parallel to the inguinal canal, but we preferred a transverse incision here. Um, yeah, cutting the skin and then the uh, superficial uh, fat, subcutaneous fat, uh, superficial fatty layer, and then coming up now the uh, scarvus, the membranous layer, as you know. Uh, uh, yeah, now you've, we put artery now on the superficial inguinal uh, ring. Now, as you see now, the uh, the I think the inguinal the roof the inguinal now uh, inguinal canal is clear. You can clear up uh, uh, the roof more and more until you see the fleshy fibers. Okay, I think now it's clear. The uh, inguinal uh, canal uh, just a snip, yeah, just a snip in the middle. Uh, by using a knife and then holding the borders with the uh, alices. Yes. Uh, second alice. And then extend the, uh, extend the incision uh, yeah, uh, distally using a scissor as you see now. We cutting now the, uh, the roof distally this is the external uh, oblique of neurosis the roof of the inguinal canal and then they yeah, are directing um, you know approximately cutting uh, yeah yeah just the sit down okay underneath and then cut till you reach the upper part okay uh, usually there are some uh, some fat okay above the uh, spermatic cord before reaching the spermatic cord you can 
you can clean all of those fat and then you can hold yeah um, we are holding now the um, uh, spermatic cord it's easy just to, you know to clear up the the fat around yeah and then you know yeah I hold it now uh, you can dissect the uh, the whole spermatic cord uh, but you know we preferred here to just to uh, dissect the vast difference alone so uh, yeah this is the classic teaching you have to control the proximal end of the spermatic cord but sometimes if you are if the tumor is big and you intended to, t t to take the tumor out I think you can like it you know immediately there is no need to uh, uh, control however okay uh, if you don't have yeah you can control with a visual loop if you don't have a visual loop a simple nilatum catheter uh, six or eight French it's okay uh, as I said to you now it's a classic classically you uh, divide the vas alone classically okay and we divide now the vas alone and simply you know uh, three stitches one distally and um, two proximally and then cut in between yeah this is the distal one uh, yeah we cut now and leaving two uh, proximal stitches and uh, one distally okay uh, this is a good uh, step yeah put your finger and dissect uh, the testicle from the uh, scrotal skin I think it's it's a good step yeah the sick um, more and more yeah it's a good step yeah this step really helps in releasing some adhesion between the testicle and the scrotal skin yes as you see now yeah we it's you know we are dissecting more and more before uh, pushing the testicle up yeah push now yeah we pushed the the whole testicle up now okay and this is the whole testicle now is up okay the second step now releasing the uh, gubernaculum yeah the adhesion or the attachment between the testicle and the scrotal skin use uh, you uh, both blunt and sharp dissection uh, take care of skin take care of the scrotal skin it's easily to be injured in this step I'll uh, divide you know all the fascia uh, uh, you know attachment between the testicle and the scrotal skin yeah using now the thermi and then finally put two clamps and divide the testicle and also you can take a uh, stitch take a, yeah take care again yeah pay attention of the skin you you can take the skin with you easily okay now yeah and after you finish yeah make sure that you didn't take the skin if you t if you took it it will be like a, a, like a nib inside in the skin yeah, it appears in the in the skin okay uh, like a dimpling in the skin we, we you didn't see any dimpling in the skin so now we didn't take the skin and now uh, the spermatic cord uh, usually has some uh, some adhesions you know around uh, don't cut it uh, unless you um, cut all the adhesions these are the adhesions down uh, simply about uh, two clamps and you know divide use, uh, using a dethermy or a colliery okay now uh, yes yeah I think now we cleared the, the whole uh, spermatic cord yeah still still uh, what about you take this um band separately that's okay also to yeah, clear up all the bands all the adhesions around uh, the spermatic cord before final division uh, uh, yeah we divide it now so now i think now it's the time the site of the deep in one ring it's easy to be identified you can see the extra yeah as you see now extra peritoneal fat okay this is the deep inguinal ring yeah this is the classic radical uh, uh, yeah radical or kick to me yes take out the whole spermatic cord just uh, yeah control uh, this band it has only some fascia
we done now I think now we can yeah. so we can now control the yeah yes okay yeah we bought now a clamp down to uh, this uh, catheter to take it the catheter out uh, this is the first clamp I think three clamps uh, are okay yeah two ligatures uh, proximally and one distally I think yeah quite enough yeah uh, cutting now uh, using uh, the theorem in between yeah yeah as you see now the whole testicle yeah uh, I can show to you the whole specimen this is the radical or kick to me the whole testicle and the whole spermatic cord I will take it out now to to take more pictures it's a good step yeah bought some distal water okay just for control um, for any tumor cells okay this is a good step and also why not to change our gloves yeah we changed our uh, our gloves yeah this is yeah as is a principles of any of any cancer surgery and we bought a new drape we bought a new drape just to control any or to avoid uh, any mixing of the tumor cells with the new field. Uh, now those are the uh, proximal ends of the uh, this spermatic cord after it has been uh, cut or ligated. Okay. Yes. Now we ligated now. The, this is the uh, proximal part and and then okay there's we feel we feel like okay why not to put another stitch here that's okay okay and the, we bought the last stitch controlling the uh, the proximal end of the spermatic cord okay now the closure and the, here is as you see now the external oblique and both alices and we are going to do now like a simple uh, bassini repair enforcement of the posterior wall this is the inguinal this is the roof uh, this is the floor sorry floor okay uh, of the inguinal canal and we as you see now are going to shoot you that this is the yeah, reflective part of the inguinal ligament this is the reflected part. We are going to take this, the reflected part, uh, with the conjoint tendon, like a simple Pacini, as I said. We are starting the first uh, stitch now. Uh, why not to take it like inverted, just to uh, put the knot deeply in the in the wound? Okay. So this is the uh, proline now. Yeah, it's a proline using for uh, reinforcement of the steel wall of the inguinal canal like as i said a simple uh, bassini repair like a continuous suture okay Uh, we can hang it okay and now we continue as I said like a simple uh, bassinia repair enforcement of the obscure wall of the inguinal canal reflect part of the inguinal ligament with the conjoint tendon using a proline suture yeah uh, now I locked the uh, I think it's still one yeah still one stitch we can take it yes going to be the last stitch like it it's a pulling now yeah, we can do like we can take like uh, five knots okay to make sure that uh, it's do not slip classic demonstration really <laughs> yeah Fifth one, thank you. Yeah, got it. Thank you. Uh, cut, cut, please. Uh, okay. 
Now, as you see now, the pseudo wall of the Inglenook Canal, it's, yeah, very nice demonstration, really, nice. The uh, next step will be the uh, external oblique itself. Yeah, it's external oblique, as uh, I think you know. Uh, just interrupted uh, sutures. Interrupted suture for the uh, the external oblique of neurosis. Well, you can take it continuous, okay, but uh, I prefer to take it uh, interrupted. Okay. Yeah, we are almost done now. Just uh, and then uh, this uh, subcutaneous fat and the skin. Uh, here is the final specimen after it was removed. As you see, the right testicle was removed in block with the covering tunica vaginalis, together with the whole spermatic cord till the level of the inguinal ring. Uh, do you remember this uh, hard nodule? Yes, this is from the, as you remember from the physical examination, yes, this is the nodule that you saw on the physical exam. Uh, here is uh, the uh, final histopathological examination, microscopic pictures, typical picture of mixed uh, germ cell tumor, areas of uh, cartilage, glands, this is the pale color of uh, embryonal carcinoma, and this is the good slide combining both uh, teratoma with uh, which is dark color and the embryonal carcinoma with uh, pale color. After confirmation of the uh, sticker cancer, here is the time for metastatic workup for proper staging. Tumor markers also have to be repeated and also CT with contrast has to be done. Um, for what? Yes, retroperitoneal lymph node. Yes, I think you know the anatomy, the venous drainage, lymphatic drainage of the uh, testicle on the retroperitoneal part. Yes, this is the axial cuts of the CT with contrast, part of the liver, right kidney, IVC, aura, and this is an enlarged lymph node, interorthal cable lymph node. 2.6 by 2.9 in diameter. Um, the static lymph nodes from the testicular tumor, and the, uh, the ideal treatment is, yes, exactly, and patient was sent to uh, oncology department for chemotherapy. It's the end. Thanks for having me, and I'm the best of luck for all. Thank you.